Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and ATM Mastermind Group page. And in today's video, we'll be talking about our greatest ATM business bank account tips. So number one thing to do is when you go into a bank is to make sure that you have your corporation papers with you. So that means you have your, if, if you file for a corporation LLC or a S Corp, what you wanna do is you wanna bring your corporation papers with you and your EIN number. And also you wanna bring two forms of ID. The, they wanna know, they have this thing called KYC, which is know your customer, and they wanna to get to know you. That's why I tell you in point number one, develop the relationship with that bank before you do. So they know who you are, they've seen you around, and that you have some history. You're just not some kind of guy to come in there or a woman or a company that comes in and they don't know who you are. So I'm telling you, develop that relationship, let them know your business, and then that'll help ease some of their pain with the KYC stuff that they They have these, these lingos called KYC, know your customer, and anti-laundering laundering activities and so what they want to do is they're going to want to avoid this situation so one of the things they're going to do is they're going to ask you for point number two a letter from your ISO that says that you've been vetted and there is some reassurance that you're just not trying to launder money through their bank banks are scrutinized very heavily for cash businesses this this comes under a cash business you're going to be taking money in uh, out of the bank on a weekly basis and they're 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 going to throw up red flags. So you want to be very cautious and transparent in what you do. So are you using fives, you using tens, you using twenties? What are you using in your ATM? So for us, almost every location we do is on twenties. Twenty is the standard in the ATM business. However, some people use fives and twenties in the use dual cassettes, they put 20s and then 5s, so they had the flexibility to do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and those denominations. Other places just use 10s instead of 20s. Keep in mind that the denomination, as it lowers from 100 down, the quality of the bill also decreases. And then the, the more, let's say if you go with 5s, you're going to have more jams in your ATM. I would tell you guys to stay away from 5s when you just start out in the ATM business because you're gonna get a lot of jams. It's gonna cause some challenges for you guys. And you know what, just go with 20s, but it's your business, you operator, however you want. And sometimes the location dictates a little of that too. So keep that in mind. You wanna establish a relationship with the bank. So now you set up your ATM account. You got your vault cash, you're starting to do business. And you know what, maybe you need a line of credit or maybe you wanna buy a new car or you're you, you're a homeowner and you want to refinance your house or you want to buy a house. This is where I suggest that you start to establish a better relationship with the bank. So you want to sit down with them, you want to look and see if they can help you out on any of these financial opportunities for the bank. Now, you might shop it around and your bank that you do business with might not be the best bank for this. Let's say maybe you have to pay a percentage more or a point or something of that nature and you're like, well, I could go somewhere better and cheaper. But again, what we're trying to do is, is we're gonna tie it all together. So you're gonna have some personal loans with the bank, even though it might not be the best deal, it's gonna be best for you and your business because there might come a time down the road where uh, the banks get scrutinized more. Maybe they're not financially as sound as, as they need to be or something and the auditors come in, the banks get audited once a year and they come in and they're gonna notice that your account is taking out large sums of money. And so when that happens, again, not that you're doing anything wrong, is that the bank will realize, oh yeah, this is our ATM person and they're in the ATM business. They, we, they, we understand everything about this account. Plus they have their mortgage with their house or a car or a line of credit, keeping you in the in the business and keeping you in the bank for as long as possible. Again, not that you're doing anything wrong, but the ATM business from time to time in different financial institutions are scrutinized a little bit heavier. If your bank ever has a question of being shut down or not, this will keep it alive and well.